Hey everybody, welcome back to the Life Coach Hub. My name is Tracy Ballin and today's question is coming from Zach. I recently moved from my college major of music ed at the Crane School of Music. I suffer from performance anxiety and have to wait two semesters before I can try to get back in. I just need to work on that. Okay, Zach, when it comes to performance anxiety, I have three steps from you and it shall bust through your performance anxiety. But seriously, um, step one, practice in the mirror. You'll be surprised how much we don't really look at ourselves in the mirror. Like we glance past and just keep it moving. We don't really like look at ourselves in the mirror. And I find that if you really just take your time to look at yourself in the mirror and um, focus on that, you'll get so much further because you'll make yourself so uncomfortable looking at yourself. So once you get past that fear of looking at yourself, you then become more comfortable looking, or should I say performing, in front of other people. And so that's step one. But also in that step one, when you are practicing um, in front of yourself in the mirror, if it is an instrument, because I'm not sure, even though it's a musical school, I don't know if you're singing or you're performing an instrument, do not look at your hands. Really just focus on that eye, -to -eye contact with yourself and looking at your body language and just looking at um, if you're tense, where you're tense at, like, or and what your triggers are and what makes you tense. Because a lot of times, if you really start paying to those little social cues and knowing what triggers it and how it's triggered, you can get past it. Now, step two is I perform in front of my biggest cheerleader. And that could be a friend, a family member, whatever. And when I say biggest cheerleader, that, that person that will never tell you you did something wrong. And you might be like, well, don't I want to know the things I'm doing wrong? No. You want to be so confident. Like, this is about confidence. So it's not about knowing what you did wrong right now. It is about getting confident enough to perform in front of people. So you, I don't want you to perform and somebody's going to critique you. I want some, you to perform in front of someone that's going to be your cheerleader. That way, they're like you are like, oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. Oh, you killed that. Because guess what? It's going to make you feel good. And the more you feel good the stronger of a performer you're going to be. Now, my third advice is to perform in front of strangers. And you're probably like, I just said I perform, have performance anxiety, Tracy. Like, you're bugging. But I'm not bugging. Performing in front of strangers will open you up to performing in front of people that you highly regard. Listen to what I'm saying now. If you perform in front of a stranger, there's no risk in it. They don't know you. You don't have to see them again. Who gives two shits? so to speak but if you bef like that will break down that barrier because the biggest thing in performance and why we have performance anxiety is not more so that we don't think we have the skill it is more a sense of we don't want to embarrass ourselves and we don't want to hear negative feedback that's why you have performance anxiety because you don't want to hear negative feedback but you know like i've tried the whole thing of staring at into the crowd and looking at people naked that didn't work for me practicing work for me because when you are so confident in your craft and you are so resilient in knowing who you are and and just what you're great at i don't care what anyone says to you you're gonna break all them barriers so practice in the mirror practice with a bestie and then practice with a stranger <laughs> until next time this is the life coach hub i'm one of your coaches tracy ballin and you can catch me on all my social media handles at, at tracy ballin